Whatever it is that you desire with all your heart, understand once and for all that it can and should be yours. So right here, firmly establish in your mind that which you desire more than anything else. If you're willing to burn your bridges behind you and say once and for all, this is it, this is what I will do and I will never retreat, I'll never go back, then you have the sort of desire that can only end in success. So desperate to figure out how to convince people that there is no loss in going for it. Because being 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and having regrets that you didn't swing the bat is the worst of them all. Our at bat is in front of us. Take swing. You're not stuck. You are not stuck. You can read a book, take a class, move on to the next thing. You are not a victim. This is your year, and if it's not, it's not going to be anybody's fault but yours. You get to decide. I'm not talking about a New Year's resolution. A New Year's resolution is something you do with too much champagne. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about really deciding I'm going to move the needle in an area of my life that's been frustrating me. And some of these areas I've been winning in, I'm going to win even bigger. It's not possible to be training harder or more consistently or more dedicated than me because I couldn't give a single ounce more to any aspect of this thing that I'm doing. So that makes me feel pretty powerful, pretty confident. What do you think it is about you that will make you keep falling until you learn a trick and keep committing to something? Um, it's because I, I know it's possible and I'm, I'm willing to I'm willing to struggle through the learning process and so I guess I just never, I never wanted to back down from a challenge, even one that I just posed for myself. Success is your duty. It is your obligation and your responsibility. Nature wraps up in the impulse of strong desire that something which recognizes no such word as impossible and accepts no such reality as failure. Fuck what the intuition of other people is. You can listen to mine, the establishment, the blueprint. Fuck all that. I'm just gonna listen to myself. Listen to yourself always wins. I beg you. I beg you to take a shot. Here's one way you never better yourself. When you come up with excuses for why other people are successful in your mind, that shit is fucking dangerous. When you give yourself an escape, everybody has a hard road. Are you gonna make a choice to just be remembered? Or are you gonna make choices that ultimately make you a legend? Mind is everything. If you don't believe you can do something, then you can't. You don't prepare to be great until you fight greatness. It's like you have to save your own life. Nobody's gonna be able to save it for you. Ain't nobody on this planet, I can't even help you do it, to find that desire, that discipline, that discomfort from where you are to where you want to be. You got to give everything. You have to deal with the reality of the situation. Dwelling and pondering and crying doesn't do shit. You can cry, you're just going to lose. When you resolve something to have a resolution is to resolve it. When you resolve, this is how it's going to be. That's when you cut off any possibility except the thing you've committed to. If you're so ambitious, show me. Are you happy to remember? Are you happy to remember? But you were down and had nothing left. But you stood up and you fought for who you are. You gotta understand right now and you gotta push yourself. Did you do your very best? You gotta understand what giving everything looks like. Because in life, it's really always up to you. It's always up to you. Really, it's always up to you. You know, what do you do? It's tremendous power, you know, that just rests in your hands. Always. Tremendous power, whether you're, whether you're a king or a slave. Take an honest look at your life. We have actually been conditioned to kid with ourselves, to lie to ourselves to um, 
not really take an honest look at the results we're getting. I want you to take a real honest look at your results. And when you look at them, ask yourself, am I living the way I really want to live? Work ethic eliminates fear. Yes. You know, so if you put forth the work, then what are you fearing? You know you, what you're capable of doing, what you're not. We got to go at it with everything we got. We got to close our eyes at night and take a rest. And we look back on that moment and say, man, I squeezed the most out of this day possible. That's what living is. I would rather aim for the stars and not hit them than to not aim at all. I would rather go after it and not get it than not go after it at all. I'd rather try and fail than not try at all. I don't want to live with the idea, wonder what would have happened had I done more with my life. I'm going to go for it come hell or high water. I'm going after my destiny. You got to run after your destiny. You can't stroll after your destiny. You can't walk after your destiny. You got to run. You knew you were going to slam on some tricks. Like, there was no way yeah. around learning certain things. Yeah, right? but I think I think that's the kiss of death. Is if if you're convinced that you're going to fail or fall or get hurt, that will come to fruition because that's what you're visualizing. I never vision. You know, I was willing to get hurt along the way, but I didn't visualize myself getting hurt along the way. Um, and I think that's what that's what stops a lot of people, and that's really what separates a lot of people from from being world champions are from being as good as they can because they, they stop at some point saying, oh no, I, I am not capable of this or I'll probably get hurt doing this. And if you approach anything with that hesitation, you're going to fail. Um, I always approached it like, this is going to work. I'm going to figure this out. Um, even if it takes me hundreds of attempts. I also did something really smart along the way. I told you I was gonna do it. People don't get it. There's a reason Muhammad Ali is the legend he is. Because he told you it was gonna happen. That's a different game. That takes a whole different makeup. I told you, I'm the real champion. I told you, I'm the champion of the world. All of all, all of our critics call, all of you trouble who write the record that will be. This is your moment. I don't care what you've been through. You can make the decision. Some of y'all, y'all can't get out here and get the best things that you want out of life going after the weakest things, going after stuff that's worthless. You gotta go after the greatest things that you can ever think of. Joe Frazier said, look, I'm not preparing for the second best in the world or the third best in the world. I want Ali. Man's only limitation within reason lies in his development and use of his imagination and subsequent motivation to action. You gotta prepare for greatness. You go to the top. We don't prepare for this thing by looking at the bottom of the mountain. We prepare for this thing by looking at the summit. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. RefRaw's Motivation has created a free gift for their loyal viewers and subscribers to say thank you so much for the support. Click the link in this description of this video to get access to Red Frost Motivation's top 10 book recommendations for success, 
Also, get access to a free motivational MP3 download by yours truly to take with you on the go. Thanks again for your support.